Meanwhile, at the Capitol today, House Speaker Glenn Cassidy apparently still refuses to step down. Uh, Cassidy, surrounded in scandal now for weeks, just returned from a two week vacation to Europe, and Tennesseans are still paying his speaker salary. News Channel 5's Chris Conti explains why some in his own party are fed up. For the first time in nearly two weeks, House Speaker Glenn Cassidy was back in his office today. His door remained closed, though, as a series of private meetings got underway. Motion to reconsider is tabled. Embattled in scandal, Cassida announced he would discuss a resignation process starting on June 3rd, which is today. June 3rd, though, will likely come and go with no resignation date from Cassida. Right Speaker, what did you tell the caucus? Forgive what has resign. those in his party worried the most is that Cassida may not stay true to his word, that he simply is dragging his feet with no intention of actually stepping down as House Speaker. Since Cassida announced his intent to resign on May 21st, you, the taxpayer, have continued to pay his salary, about $200 each day. So far, since he hasn't officially stepped down, Glenn Cassida has earned $2,805.68 in the last two weeks. He will continue to take home taxpayer dollars at his current salary in perpetuity until he's no longer speaker. And by the way, for the last two weeks, Glenn Cassida has been on vacation in Europe and you were paying his salary. If you can believe it, which you definitely can. All of this as the controversy at the Capitol continues to gain national notoriety. Last night on HBO's Last Week Tonight, host John Oliver spent nearly seven minutes roasting the Williamson County Republican and his former chief of staff. Legally, Republicans' hands are tied. They have no way to remove Glenn Cassida as House Speaker without calling a special House session. Guess who would likely control a special session if there was one? You guessed it, Glenn Cassida. All as a drawn out scandal at the Capitol continues with no expiration date. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. Cassida is scheduled to meet with Republican Bill Dunn tomorrow. Dunn would temporarily become the next House Speaker once Cassida resigns.